Hi guys, welcome to MML Motorhouse, and we've got a quick video tour today of the Land Rover Discovery 4. Um, really nice car, it's just come into stock with us, and it's a really unusual colour, which is quite different on these cars. I've never seen one, we specialise in Jaguar Land Rover, and I've never seen one in this colour. It's kind of like a bluey purple, um, really, really unusual. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a quick wander around the car once, then we're going to go back around it in a bit more detail, run through the spec of the car and the imperfections, and just give you a bit more of an overview. But we're just finding these video tours really useful. You know, a lot of people from, are now buying cars from us online and it's just a nice way to get a bit more of an in-depth view of the car. You know, you can't always rely just on the photos and actually this way, if you're spending your money and you're having the car delivered by us, then you know when the car turns up, you know what you're getting and you can kind of enjoy that day of delivery. You're not gonna be panicking that, you know, you've missed anything out. Also, we love people coming here to see the cars, you know, come take for a test drive, have a real good look at it. But we do recognise there's time, there's expense involved in that. Um, so if you've had a video tour first, again, it just helps you rule the car in or maybe rule it out. You might decide you don't want to come and see it. All our cars come with a full 41 point health check, as this one will do. Our technicians will run through it, make sure it's absolutely fit for the roads. Anything that's not right will get done. Um, and, you know, that's really important for us to make sure that that is done properly. Um, it also will come with a brand new MOT. It'll come with a three month warranty that you can extend. The car's just been serviced by main dealer Land Rover. We've got all the evidence of that. So you know if you buy a car from us, there's a lot of money to spend. We want you to have confidence. It's been serviced, MOT'd, you've got warranty and full health check. So right, let's get into it. So as you can see, 59 plate, um, 121,000 miles. Let's start down here on the driver's side. So if we get nice and low on the car, look down the side of the car, really straight, no dings, no dents, shut lines are exactly where we want them to be. This car is completely HPI clear, so if you wanted a copy of that, do let us know. Come down to the front wheel. So it's, um, it's got the alloys that have been uh, obviously refurbed, and, and, and this is not a sort of a standard colour from Land Rover, so, uh, or certainly wasn't on this model. So someone's had them refurbed and sprayed in like a darker grey, like a satin. It's really nice, nice compliment on the car. It's got brand new Michelins all round. Um, the owner's just spent, he was telling me about a £1,000 on it. Um, and so it's really nice, you know, branded tyres on the car is exactly what you want to see. Uh, it shows someone spent money in the right areas and they've maintained it well. But we've got Michelins all round, all replaced at the same time. Uh, brakes look good through the alloy, but again, our technicians will check all of that to make sure it's completely safe. If they need replacing, they'll be done. But that alloy's not too bad. A couple of minor marks on it, but very, very good. Paintwork's really good on the car. Down here on the Land Rover side vent, a little bit of um, sort of like, you know, the black just coming away. We can always respray those. It's only plastic. It's nice and easy for us to do. Coming down the side, a little bit of a mark there on a the wing mirror. Just, just bear that in mind, a little bit of marks down there. Obviously, it's a 59 plate. There's going to be the odd thing, but overall, it's in really nice condition. Paintwork's lovely. Get you nice and close to that. Really, really nice. No dings on that at all. Side steps, which are very good. There's a little bit of a dip in this one, just here. But actually, the side step itself is fine. Works really well, but it's just a small dip in that first one. A couple of little marks down here on the door. You see where people have been sort of clumsy opening it onto things. You can always touch that in. And onto the rear, we've got privacy glass in the back which looks really nice. Nice compliment on the car, also practical as well. So very, very good indeed. That rear door looking very clean, no issues at all. Shut line on that, very, very good. Small mark just at the base of it there. Onto the rear alloy. That one almost looks immaculate. I can't see any marks on that one at all. Again, another Michelin. So very, very good. You come around the rear of the car, onto the rear. I love the Discovery 4 at the back. I think it's really clean. Uh, it looks nice and modern. It looks really, really good. So very, very happy with the way these look at the back. So you've got a privacy glass on the back as well, which is nice. Coming down here onto the lower bumper, we've got the protection mat. Just kind of keeps a lot of the scratches off it. Obviously, it's a usable area. A few little light scratches on the paintwork there, but nothing major. Obviously, that mat's done its job well. Onto the lower part, we've got quite a substantial tow bar, which is put on aftermarket tow bar. Um, you've got the electric points through that gap. Um, we'll just get a bit of plastic trim, see where, obviously, this area here, there's a bit of plastic trim that goes over that, it might even be in the car, so we'll get hold of that just to clean the back up. But uh, yeah, rear parking sensors, so nice and clean, and obviously being a Disco 4, uh, being a newer one, we've got obviously the LED clusters at the back, so just really working well. Coming down to the passenger side, like the drivers, lovely and clean, lovely and straight, no dings, no dents. Rear alloy, nice condition. Mitchell entire again. A couple of little light scratches around 
the door connects here. Nothing major, it might polish out, but just bear that in mind. But other than that, really clean down here. Again, a couple of light scratches here, just on the, on the door shut area. You could always touch those in, but uh, just bear those in mind. Side step in really good condition on this side. Uh, the other one's good, but obviously it's got that dip in it, but nothing on this one at all. A couple of little light scratches on the wing mirror casing, just bear those in mind. And the vent there as well, probably could do with a little bit of a spray. But other than that, really clean, lovely and straight. Paintwork is fantastic. And then down onto the final alloy, uh, a little bit of curbing on this one, just around the 12, one o'clock mark. But other than that, looking very good indeed. Windscreen, no chips on that at all, no cracks. Don't know how much you can see with the glare from the floodlights, but very, very good. And then coming down the bonnet, really nice, no issues at all onto the front. Now we're just missing, you can see the Land Rover badge there, so we'll get hold of one of those. It'll just finish the car off nicely. Uh, headlights are good, a little bit of smoke's over around the tops of the headlights. Let's see if we can polish those out. I've just noticed that here and here, just at the tops of the headlights, there's a bit smoked over. See if we can polish that up a little bit. I don't know what we can do, but obviously lovely and clear. No water ingress in those at all. Front bumper, very good. Now there is the odd stone chip uh, on the car. It's quite hard to see about me getting right next to the car. But yeah, just the odd stone chip along the front edge. Nothing more than you wouldn't expect in general sort of wear and tear. But just, you know, yeah, like I say, just a few little stone chips around there. Obviously we're on the floodlights, I'm right next to the car, but just bear that in mind. So I think overall on the outside, really good. You know, there's obviously a few little marks here and there, but I think for the age and mileage, she's looking well. Inside the car, we've got the gray and black cloth interior. It's funny, on our videos, they always make it look, I think it's the, 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 the light on the camera always makes it look a little bit marked on the interior, but it's not. It's lovely and clean. We've just had it valeted. Passenger seat over there, really good. No rips, no tears. Down here on the driver's the side bolster, absolutely perfect, which is, you know, usually they wear there, but it's not too bad at all. A little bit of wear at the base of the bolster, but nothing major, and the seat itself looking really good. Again, if you're seeing stains on the video, they're not there. It's just the way the camera projects it. 121,000, <coughs> excuse me, 126 miles. We've got one key on the car. So foot on the start stop. I've actually driven this car and it drives really, really well. Um, it's lovely and straight. It's good over the bumps. Um, it pulls well, the gearbox is good. So yeah, very, very good drive on this car. Obviously looking very clean, very nice. Electronic handbrake's working well. All your suspension is working well. We've tested that out, no issues at all. Aircon system's good had it on uh, warm because it's cold here today and it's the heating's come out lovely also check the the cool the cooler side of it and it comes out lovely and cold so you've got your radio system here with your display uh, this here is someone has fitted an aftermarket camera system this is obviously the the gubbins for it um, it's not working at the moment so just be aware of that we can always take it out or leave it in it might even be something that we're doing wrong i don't know but that reverse camera system is not working so just bear that in mind um someone's fitted it aftermarket and we're probably not going to get too involved in that um you know everything else is working on the car the rear sensors are working well so the camera's not working leather sort of dash here with some stitching which is looking really nice around here we've got the upgraded carbon carbon sound system onto a lighter roof lining which is not sagging it's lovely and clean so yeah, the car in general is really nice inside. Like steering wheel is very, very good. Hands-free system over here. And then it's just all working well. Car smells good, doesn't smell of animals. Um, I would say maybe a slight tinge, a very, very slight tinge. I've got quite a sensitive nose. Slight tinge of smoke. Um, I wouldn't say it's been a smoker's car, I'm not saying that, but there's just an ever so light tinge of it. Uh, funny, even since we've had it validated, it seems to have disappeared. So just again, with your eyes here, we want to tell you everything we're seeing and smelling. Um, yeah, but it's not a major thing. It's definitely not been a smoker's car, but whether someone has smoked in it at some point, possibly. Um, down here, rear seats, lovely condition. Very, very clean. All very, very good. Loads of space. Door cars are looking good. And onto the rear of the car, we're just going to check out the boot. Now, obviously, it's a seven-seater. Um, we've got seven uh, seats, sort of a six and seven in the back. They're obviously laid flat in a minute parcel shelves in there you can always tell quite a lot from these cars you know if the back is battered you wonder what the car's been through but it's not it's lovely and clean lovely and tidy a little bit of friendly trim there to work out where that goes so we'll get on to that but yeah very very good indeed 
like I say, a nice seven seat option. So anyway, look, that's the video. Hope that helps, hope that's useful. If you've got any questions on the car, you want more specific areas filmed or photographed, let us know, we'd love to help. If you are looking at delivery, just give us your postcode, let us know where you're based, then we can obviously sort of get your price and an ETA on delivery. If you want to come and see the car with by appointment, so just give us a call, let us know when you want to come and we'll get you booked in. Um, call, email, message WhatsApp, we're always here. We'd love to help. So in the interim period, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully we'll see you soon.